Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October. How they feel, next move in love messages, love tower reading. Sagittarius, so looking at the person on your mind, who you're thinking of, no matter your situation or circumstance, and you just want to know how are they feeling, what's their next moves, what do they want to tell me along with love messages, that's what we're looking at here today. All right, Sagittarius, we have the true love reading cards here, so I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck, then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. All right, did I have another one to go find? My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tower. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. October, how they feel. Next move in, love messages. Love Tower reading. I'm going to lay these out, see what's going on, and then jump right into your reading. We have forgiveness. Manifestation. I did just get that for Leo. Chivalry. Oh. It's such a and sexuality. Okay. So I kind of feel like here uh, this person may have been more on the passionate side, maybe wanting more of one thing. Um, and maybe there's been some separation here. Um, maybe you kind of pulled your energy back, Sagittarius, like, you know, I'm not just in it for that, so there's got to be more here. Um, and I kind of feel like this person may be coming back for forgiveness, and maybe you've been kind of manifesting that, that this person would come back and, you know, do things the right way and ask for forgiveness, because I think you would. Um, and I do see someone being more chivalrous, which is a really good energy. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, Sagittarius. Okay. So, let's get right into the reading and see what we need to know. All right. Sagittarius. We have the Celestial Tarot here. So, do your reading with this deck. And at the end, for the love messages, I will be using Mystic Moon's Signs from Spirit Love Cards. All right. Sagittarius, October. How they feel. Next move in love messages. Love Tarot reading. That is a mouthful. Let's see. What do we need to know about how they're feeling for Sagittarius at this time? How are they feeling? Let's see. Temperance. Well, there you are, Sagittarius. First card out. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. Ten of Swords. Holy crap. What all the sword energy here? And the five of one. So, yeah, how they're feeling right now. That yeah, there was some conflict here that maybe caused like an ending or a breakup or a separation. We do have this uh, ten of swords here, nine of swords. So there's a lot of anxiety they're feeling right now around this whole situation, and I feel like that uh, they. I feel like someone took action here to really say how they felt, and I think that was you. Sagittarius, because we have you right there with that temperance card going in quick with that knight of swords and telling it like it is, putting up some healthy boundaries um, kind of energy that really stressed them out, caused, like, like, like I said, the breakup, the separation, whatever. And there was some conflict here, so they're definitely feeling all of this. But they do see a soulmate connection to you because we have the temperance, which is, you know, patience, healing, balance. They know you want more of that, um, tempering the energy just a bit. And, you know, that is usually soul contracts, past life, divine alchemy, soulmates coming together at just the right time. So there is a sense here they know that that's what you want. That's how you feel. And I do feel like they feel that connection too. But they kind of had to be put in their place. That's kind of what I feel here. But we're going to get more. So we got you there, Sag, Aquarius, Libra. We are in Libra season right now. Perhaps this happened very, 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 very recently. Um, maybe right before or at the start of Libra season, which really wasn't that far away or that long ago, like a week and a half ago, maybe. But let's see. A couple of weeks. No, it's been a couple of weeks, like two and a half weeks, actually. But let's see. So let's see what else we need to know about how they're feeling about you right now, Sagittarius. You're coming up in their energy, so they are thinking about you because we have the first card out, Temperance, which is Sagittarius. So let's see 
How are they feeling about Sagittarius? Let's see. The Chariot. The Fool Reverse. Yeah. Okay. The Hierophant Reverse. The Page of Swords Reversed. The Four of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands. Wow. So, I mean, even though they know what caused all this energy, it's causing the situation. Um, the Fool Reverse, they definitely know they've been foolish. They have did something foolish. They acted foolish. The Hierophant Reverse could be the lack of commitment or morals towards this connection. Um, in the page of swords reverse. So definitely there wasn't a lot of communication, great communication I feel from them either. There was a lot of holding back with that four of pentacles and the two of wands is like they know they were at the crossroads where they needed to make a choice and choose a direction. Um, but instead they continued to act foolish. But the chariot is positive movement forward success victory balance so they know they know this needed to move forward in some sort of way into a more balanced successful energy instead they were foolish or acted foolish about this whole situation which caused now the situation that you're in so they realize it they know it but you know i don't have a lot of cups here to be honest But we're going to see if they're going to make any moves. Uh, let's see. We have Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus. Uh, Aquarius again. But let's see. Um, I, I have four swords here. The star, though, is good energy. Seven of swords. I don't know. There's a lot of not so great energy here. But let's see. But we do have that chivalry coming in. And forgiveness. So... That could be just what you're hoping for, but I don't know. Let's see. All right. So is this person going to make any moves towards Sagittarius? What are the next move or will they even make any next moves towards Sagittarius, please? Let's see. What are their next moves towards Sagittarius? Six of Swords Reverse. So that could be the return. The world. A new cycle. Seven of Pentacles Reverse. No more stalemating. Magician. Oh, manifesting a new beginning. Queen of Wands. There's still fire, passion, and attraction here. But we do have success, victory. Huh. So Six of Swords for me, usually, I mean, upright, it's about distance. But I get that in reverse. As it can be stuck. It can also be a return of somebody. The world. Endings, new beginnings. A new cycle. Maybe coming from a distance. And we do have the world. In the chariot up there. Seven of pentacles in reverse. You know, no more stalemating. No more just, you know, not doing anything. And the magician here is manifesting the new beginning. Queen of Wands, you know, is a go-getter kind of energy. Um... But that's also the fire, passion, attraction, which would have to do with the sexuality. And we do have success, victory. So there, I think this person, they want to come in and do the right thing. But how can we find the balance? I'm feeling like balance between doing the right thing, chivalry, forgiveness, also still having the fire and the passion. Again, I don't have a lot of cups here, but I do see... Um, You know, wanting to manifest this. I know we're going to get more. So we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Aries. So let's see more about their next move towards Aries. I'm at Aries. I'm looking at the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Anything else we need to know about their next move towards Sagittarius? Let's see. What else do we need to know? Towards Sagittarius. Two of Swords. Okay, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I like that. Could be same sex for some. 
But we've got the Ten of Cups reversed. Hmm. Ace of Wands, yeah. Eight of Cups and the Hangman. Wow. So oh, we still got the fire and the passion here with the Ace of Wands. Two of Swords. So they know they need to make a decision to be more stable and grounded the way you want them to be. Otherwise, it's not going to be happy. It's not going to be fulfilling. It's just not going to happen. Ace of Wands, but they still have that fire passion that they want. Eight of Cups still being at a distance and the Hangman being stuck. So, I mean, it's like they want to come forward. Or can we find the balance to still have, you know, I, I want to try to do the right thing. I think this is like coming in forgiveness and trying to do the right thing. But they're still fueled by passion and desire. But they know what you want is a more stable, grounded energy. So I'm still getting a very mixed energy here. I'm not getting, okay, it's going to be one way. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to be the chivalrous kind of person asking for forgiveness that you want. I'm not 100% seeing that. I'm still seeing them being fueled by fire, passion, and desire. <sighs> They're kind of still, you know, a little, hey man, a little bit still stuck in that energy here. We have Capricorn. Pisces showing up. Hermit. Six of Pentacles, yeah. The thing about the thing about the balance. How can we be how can we do this and bring the balance in both energies? Yeah, but they do see you as an empress. I do feel that. Double oh yeah, that's big time lust, fire, passion, and desire. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. All right, good. We got strength behind it, which overcomes anything. Strong, courageous, and brave, overcoming. So they do want to overcome this, but like I said, they want to find the perfect balance here. Like, I'm going to try to come in and do the right thing, ask for forgiveness, and try to be as chivalrous as I can, but, but can we still have the fire and the passion? I don't know, Sag. It's up to you what you want with this, but let's see what they want to tell you. Let's see what they want to tell you, Sagittarius. Um, and if it does resonate or you're enjoying this, Please do like, comment, all the great things would be greatly appreciated. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see. What do they want to tell you? And we'll do clarifiers as well. Then we'll get into the love messages. Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, I'm unfulfilled and unhappy right now without you. Page of Cups. So I do want to come in and apologize. Um... I think they do have feelings for you. That could be a confession of love. Wheel of Fortune, I do want to move this forward. Can we move this forward? Ace of Pentacles, I'll promise you a solid new beginning. Death, I know there needs to be endings and transformations for this to work. That's why we're actually in the stalemate now of this feeling like it's over. But if I come in with a stable new beginning to move this forward with about how I'm feeling and apologizing... I'm not happy right now without you. Oh, let me get the bottom here. And we have the page of wands. So, but that's still the wands is still the fire and the passion. So they're exciting for, excited for this and they do want to come forward. They want you to know that. Excited. Good news. Come in. I, can I be stable, grounded? Can we have the fire passion? I'm getting that all over this. I want the stability, the foundation, the relationship. Yeah, I do have feelings but I have a lot of fire, passion, desire for you, and I still want both. I'll be as chivalrous as I can, as long as we still can have the fire and the passion. But we're going to get more. Um, let's see, we do have here Pisces, Sag, you're right here, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sag again right here. Ten of Pentacles. You know, I'm, I'm willing to commit to this. In some way, shape, or form. Yeah, new beginning in love. So yeah, I do have feelings and emotions, but I still want the fire and the passion. Maybe you'll be fine with that. But looking out to the future, three of wands could be happening very soon. Three of swords reverse. I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want to break your heart anymore. I want to return. Six of cups. Emperor. Yeah, I want to step up to the plate and do the right thing. Yeah, I've been separated in hermit mode. Not happy about that. 
the moon. Yeah, I'm hoping everything can be cleared up. Moon in reversed. Because you are my empress. So they do see you as an empress. Um, let's see what else. Star. Can we heal? I feel we're meant to be. But I still feel the fire and the passion. The king of wands now. We do have the queen. So maybe you both feel that way. But maybe this is just about being them being more loving, affectionate, caring, and giving in that aspect as well as having the fire and the passion. That's what caused a lot of uh, sabotage here and conflict. Tower. So it may be a while here that things have been this way. Long, slow change here. Struggling a little bit with the Nine of Wands. Reuniting so they know there could be a little bit of a struggle here. Uh, but they do want to clear things up. Seven of Cups reversed. And they don't want to feel lost and lonely without you. They're definitely feeling that. we got the Five of Cups reversed and the Five of Pentacles upright. Here's an offer too. So there's going to be some sort of offer coming in. It's up to you. If it's good enough for you, Sag, we have Aquarius here. Let's get some love messages and see what else you need to know. But everything else you do need to know, Sag, is down below in the description box as well as my website. Everything you need so you can check all that out if you would like to. All right, this one wants to pop out. Pearl, hidden knowledge. Oh, they could be giving you a gift. They could be giving you something of very expensive, too. And maybe they've been keeping their uh, feeling, feelings hidden, too. But let's see. What else do they want to tell you? Oh, my God. 222. Partnerships and balance. Oh, my God. Did I not talk about this through this whole... <laughs> Pay attention to the new people entering your life. Take time to balance your time and energy and existing ones. Yeah. This is all about the promise, uh, maybe giving you an expensive gift, um, find, finding the balance. That's I keep getting this all over this. What else? Apron service. So they want to be of service in many ways. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody could work in service as well. Gray, depressed, detached, unemotional. Yeah, they definitely don't like this detached energy from you at all. Violet. Intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware. You could be very intuitive, spiritual, and they know that. But they do want you to know that um, Yeah, they want to be more of service to you. The connection, they feel detached and lonely without you. They want to find that perfect balance in the partnership. They could be giving you something very expensive as well. What else? Seven, seven, seven. Rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. Yeah, definitely this is a big challenge right now. And again, you know, maybe their soul is developing a little bit here, but they definitely um, want to overcome this challenging time. And we have deep red there, which always gives me deep love energy. So they know you have a lot of feelings for them. I think they do have feelings for you. They were just keeping them hidden. But circles, completion. Yeah, so this could be about, you know, coming full circle in this connection as well if that's what you want with this uh, Sagittarius but I think if you could come on common ground and find that perfect balance and have a great conversation communication about everything I mean there may be a little more conflict but if you can find that common like I said common ground finding the perfect balance as long as you're seeing what you want to see in them and they're meaning what they say and I do think they're going to try it's up to you what you're going to do uh, with this Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. And again, um, everything you do need to know is down below. I am, and I'm just looking at the star. I mean, that draw me back to that, which is, you know, wish, fulfillment, hap um, divinely guided energy, things meant to be healing and balance. So there's a lot here about balance balance fulfilling your wishes so they definitely want to try to do that as best they can and they will try but i think they're gonna have to prove it too all right Sag, that's what i have so i hope that helped that resonate again everything you need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time